Three months after the Christmas Day shooting death of 18-year-old Stephanie Comack, her grieving father says that he will stop at nothing to get justice for his daughter. He's accusing the Benoit County prosecutor of trying to avoid a murder trial in St. Mary's and says if Joseph Herrera does not go to prison for life, he will take care of Herrera himself. It's an exclusive interview with KXY Force Colleen O'Brien and Colleen. You asked the Benoit County prosecutor about each one of Jim Comack's accusations. Absolutely, and we have two completely different stories. One from a very angry and grieving father who is convinced a plea deal is in the works for his daughter's alleged killer, and a prosecutor who says this is news to him, and he's moving forward with second-degree murder charges. 18-year-old Stephanie Comack was shot in the head on Christmas morning. Her boyfriend at the time, 28-year-old Joseph Herrera, said he was unloading his gun when it fired. Stephanie's father, Jim Comack, can barely get himself to talk about that day or about his daughter. She's it. <sighs> he came to KXOY because he's convinced his daughter's alleged killer won't go to trial and that he'll plead out. To him, that's not justice. Doug Payne's statement to my family is he has to settle because the county commissioners say it costs too much to uh, uh, you know, run a murder trial. So I question Benoit County Prosecutor Doug Payne. He says there's no truth to that accusation and no plea deal is in the works for Herrera. Uh, Mr. Comack uh, will be consulted himself should he choose to have any input should any plea negotiations ever occur in that case. There are none, uh, contrary to whatever you might think. He'll probably deny it. He's working a deal with the defense right now that Joe Herrera gives up dope dealers in town, you know, and he drops it down to manslaughter. Four years, he'll be out 22 months, good behavior. That, that would simply be off the table. There's no way a plea B would, would be considered based on cooperation in a murder case. Payne's word isn't enough for this father who watched his daughter slip away on Christmas morning. I held her hand until she passed, and I made her a promise. I made her a promise between me and her until she passed. And one day, Joe Herrera, you guys, you want to play around? One day, Joe, me and you'll sit down, and I'm going to show you that promise. On April 13th, Joseph Herrera will be back in court for his arraignment, and Benoit County Prosecutor Doug Payne says he intends to move forward with second-degree murder charges. Meantime, Jim Comack says he's going to run for sheriff. He'll run as an independent write-in candidate. Comack says he's doing this to clean up what he sees as corruption in Benoit County. Reporting live, Colleen O'Brien, KXOY4 HD News. All right.